Hi everyone, I'm Leslie Kilby. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the UK and today I'm here with you as part of the Stampin' Around the World video hop. Okay, this month our theme is celebrations and for my celebration I've chosen Christmas. So this is the project that I'm going to be showing you how to make today. As you can see, it's a Christmas card, literally with a twist. I've hand drawn this and you turn it from Merry Christmas 2024, literally ease this round and you end up with Happy New Year 2025. So this is infinitely variable. So today I'm going to show you how to make the mechanism. Okay, here we go. You don't need a lot of equipment. A trimmer is essential for me anyway. So I've got my stamping up trimmer and you'll notice I popped, I'm sure a lot of you have done this, it's a well-known hack, some double-sided tape on the back so I can see the numbers through better. Okay, <clears throat> so let's start making the mechanism. So I have four pieces, four rectangles of um, basic vanilla, very vanilla card, so it's nice, it's not too thick. And we're going to start cutting. I find it easy to have a pencil on hand to number them. So for the first piece of card, <clears throat> we're going to turn it and place it halfway in our trimmer. So for me, that's one and a quarter inches across the top. And I'm going to cut down one and a quarter. So now you can see why a trimmer is so handy, because I can go down to the one and a quarter here. If you're in doubt, just go a little bit further. Okay, so this is card number one. So I'm just going to put a, a one on here somewhere. I can always rub it out if it's visible. So that's number one. Ooh, put it somewhere safe. Number two. Okay, so this time again, one and a quarter. Down one and a quarter. This time it's from the other end. Obviously it's the same on the card, but this is number two. For number three, I'm gonna have it up this way and I want the cut to be there. So I'm gonna have one and a quarter at the top and cut down one and a quarter again. This is number three. And number four, I'm going to cut this end. So one and a quarter measure on the right hand side, down one and a quarter. Right, I've just remember, just realised I've cut number two wrong. Number one, number two. So let me correct that. One and a quarter, which was right, but I should have come cut down lower. So let me just place that carefully back in the in the cutting track. So I should have gone down two and a half, gone down further. So it's fine, you can just pop it back in your track. You just gotta be careful. There we are, no harm done. Okay, so trimmer away now. So now I need my double-sided tape. Put these out in order. Two, three, right. This is number four. Pencil. This is number four, it goes up that way. That's number three, it goes that way. Right. Number four doesn't need any. Number three needs tape along the bottom edge. Okay, let's put those together. Number two needs tape along this top edge. So I'm going to start here, miss out the edges so that I don't uh, go too far and make things sticky. That's number two. Number one, we're going to have tape down this edge over here. So I have to 
sort of guess halfway. I could measure. But I'm just doing it by eye. Okay. So I've got one and two and three and four. Now I've also cut myself some little bits of the iconic DSP. And that will just help us even though I'm not decorating the whole card, it will help us see where things go together. I'm just making sure that everything slots together and that I've made the slits long enough. So I'm just popping, this is just a sort of dry check. Ugh. That's the way. Yep, all fits nicely. Okay, so I'm just going to take everything apart again. Three and four, right. Number one and number two, let me just put them together again. And I'm going to have some paper here. Now I've got a little bit of writing there. I'm just going to rub that out. I obviously was a bit gung-ho with my pencil mark. So I'm just going to put that down. Oh, I could have this as well. Ooh, so hard. I think I like that better. The reason I've changed my mind is because a non-directional paper is a lot easier. So what I'm going to do is to leave a small edge, but actually try, try and get the paper very close to this edge here. Not going over it. Pop it back in where I had it. That's up. Because if you were to put a photo or something, you would want to sort of match up your picture. Maybe a little bit closer to the edge. So we're making sure things are lined up, the cards lined up. There we are. You're going to see it a bit, but that's fine. Okay, so we've got one and two together quite happily. Now we're going to take piece number three. We're going to put it under this bottom leg at the bottom and slide it right across. So we've got odd pattern designs. Then we're going to take number four and we're going to go under the first two, one, two. Middle bit is on the front and the top leg goes in at the back. Can you see where I've got it? Under the top two. The design matches on the front. So we've got one pattern, two patterns and then two plain bits. We're just tap it and get everything in line and then check check it's all actually matching woohoo there we go so that is your mechanism and now we can finish decorating but i'm going to you know really leave you to do that let me show you my card again so we're down there turn it up there it doesn't really matter which way you start it but you're going to need some extra papers for the blank bits. And before you do those, we are, of course, going to remove our double-sided tape. So, I hope I'm in short. So you just need to line up carefully. Get everything, all the edges lined up. 
and we're going to go over this side there we are one at the bottom line it up and that's it we're nice and firm once you've got the uh, tape adhered it's a lot firmer obviously wonderful so that's the mechanism so now obviously you can have a different design along these edges i've used um, more paper i've also used flat things you can see so that you don't stop the mechanism from turning so i've used die cut shapes from the iconic imagery in here you've got little dies and the trees and the star they all cut out i've stamped happy and new year and merry christmas they come from greetings of the season it i tried stamping on the paper but actually it didn't show up so i just stamped onto card like this and just literally fussy cut round quick and easy to do and then i've used some very flat uh adhesive backed sequins because they will slide under too. These numbers are from the uh, alphabet a la mode. Okay, white paper on the back to write your sentiment. Well, this is as far as we got with our changing places card, but there was one important thing I almost forgot to tell you. So I thought while I'm doing that, I might as well finish the card off. So I've got myself a standard quarter sheet card base, which I'll, will be on my um, PDF. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to pop this in the middle. So just to sort of find the place, line it up by eye, a bit higher, just so that it clears both sides, sort of like that. And I've popped double sided tape on the back. What, um, what, I, what you will notice is it's only down this very narrow left-hand side, and that's really important. It has to grip that side and leave the other side free to move. So I just need my pokey tool. Technical term, that. You see, I've made myself a little pattern there. I even overlap them slightly as I didn't want to go too far. Certainly no more than half. You can check because you need to be free when you move it. So let's see if I can do it using the grid paper, which is perhaps one of the best ways of doing it. I'll do it upside down for now so I don't stick things. looks pretty good so it's about there yeah let's pop a scrap there that's where it needs to go I'm just going to pop it on very gently Tight, but up a fraction if I can move it. Whoops. Yep, it did move, but just a little bit too much. I think like that is where I'm going to leave it, right at the edge. And then just press down really hard. And then I decided that um, I would have some words on the base and I'm going to start the other way around just for a change. So I'm going to pop this on. I've um, heat embossed the word celebrate and that comes from another stamp set, Happy Little Things. Really versatile and goes well with the iconic uh, papers. I'm going to glue it on flat because 
because I don't want it to interfere with the mechanism. Okay, so I've got celebrate and then to go down this end at the bottom I've also heat embossed the season and the words the season comes from the iconic imagery. Again I'm going to pop it on flat, glue it down with my uh, all-purpose glue So I'm going to actually start this way around with this card this time, just to be different. So to go down here, I've got the same backing paper on the reverse, and it's rather nice because it doesn't matter when it goes upside down. That's the beauty of this paper. Squeeze. What I've done is um, I've stamped some leaves from the, the stamp set and used the dies to die cut it. And I've used oh, Cajun Craze ink to stamp them. So these I could actually lift on dimensionals, but just any angle, just different angles. Because I can't put these on dimensionals, I thought it would look a bit odd if I only had two. Keep that up the same way. leaves angling downwards as though they're falling. So you notice it mirrors the design of on the acorn. So that's the front and then on the back I've got just a very vanilla layer. I stamp something on it when I know who I'm sending it to. And I oh, should have done this first, never mind. I've got a scrap of paper here, which I normally glue onto the edge and then snip to make sure that... Um, it fits so I could have green or but I'm going to have the leaves again <coughs> so yes so if you do this always stick it onto the uh, paper first and then trim it to size so that you don't get any sort of pale white or vanilla edge showing Excuse me. So there is my changing places card. So we're going to grip there, only stuck on that side. What you could do, as I've got a scrap here, what I might do is make myself a little tab so that somebody knows to pull it. Last time I did, I drew an arrow on. So sweet card, celebrate the season. So I hope you liked the um, the card. I hope you liked the demo. Do pop and see all the other people underneath who are also on the video hop. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.